Since they're terrific, they have you guys are like 115% terrific. Really. I'm thinking it might have to do with the extra 15 chairs we put on that stage. <laughs> <laughs> I have to apologize to you folks in the corners that are getting run over by scenery moving in and down. That's, that's part of the show. Uh, you know, we've been just having a wonderful time portraying these people that Seth Sturkel has interviewed, getting to know them, and, and uh, you've just been listening to a number of them talking about retirement and how how much they're looking forward to it and what a great thing it's going to be. And, and Seth Sturkel didn't forget about uh, interviewing retired people, and that's uh, one of the characters that I play. It's uh, Joe Zuli, retired guy. And, uh, I don't know if I was tight cast, but I, I've been retired for about, about seven years now. And, uh, and I know when, when I told my wife I was going to uh, be involved in a play down at RCC and it would probably take me out of the house for extended periods of time, and she was overjoyed. <laughs> Let's see what uh, Joe Zudi has to say about retirement, how he Down 
at six o'clock, you watch the news. Politician get you so mad, you throw your slippers at the set. <laughs> you cook some franks, no big to do. Most nights you lay around, you straighten up, and you call your daughters. You watch a game, you take a snooze. And then Sunday, Sunday's different. Change your shirt and shine your shoes Cause you're going around the block to the tavern <laughs> You shoot some pool, you drink some beer You don't have to drink a lot to have a good time, you know Three, four in the evening You find the cow, you bend his ear You meet a lot of your old crowd there on Sundays And sometimes a bunch of you, you sing the kind of song Sunday night we sang till we meet again. Believe it or not, I once did a waltz to that tune. I'm honest to God, it was at a dance. I was 17, and the girl was like from a magazine, and the lights were low. I really mean low. I think a couple of my friends had something to do with that. <laughs> I kissed her cheek as we waltzed away. I could remember that like it's yesterday. Boy, was she surprised. I could hear her say, Joe. He'd drive you home from around the block. Out of your sock, you fix the bed, you check the lock, wind the clock. When I retired, a lot of my friends told me, Joe, you got your health. Well, why'd you do it? Well, it's too late. I don't know why I retired. Just a habit, I guess. But I got no regrets. I keep busy, keep traveling. I put fires every once in a while. You know that fire we had over on Milwaukee <coughs> Avenue about uh, oh, three weeks ago? I was there. Boy, I was surprised the smoke coming out of there. Hell, you don't see no flames. Oh, they, they must have had three units there. About him on the radio. Boy, that was some fire.